So we are talking about the movie The Snare, a 2017 British horror movie directed by Christopher Anthony Cooper. Now, the story here focuses on three friends as they decide to get away for a weekend and go to this kind of like um, off-season kind of apartment complex, basically. One of the girls uh, has a father who works in the kind of the uh, the realtor traders and estate agent, and he's kind of like in charge of this kind of big building, which is out of season. So they pinch the keys and decide they're going to have a bit of a drunken weekend there. One of the girls is... is um, kind of getting away from her personal demons throughout the film we get to know that she has some uh, some deep-seated issues that will kind of come to light as the film progresses and that's kind of the reasons for her going i always wonder though why do people go in kind of like an odd number why is there always a couple and a single person i sure as hell wouldn't want to be the single person if i was going out of a couple but anyway why is that always the case anyway they go to this house and strange things start to happen they seem to experience supernatural phenomena. And it turns out they're actually going to get trapped in the top floor of this building. Uh, The lift doesn't work. The stairs seem to be blocked off. No one can get a a signal out on their phone. And uh, food and water are running out quick. So this is an odd film in the fact that it's a supernatural haunting movie with very little actually ghosts in there. The, The real threat is the lack of surviving you know the, the food and water and kind of the these guys kind of going mad this sort of trapped feeling and that is the bulk of the film so if you want a horror movie with lots of ghosts in it this ain't gonna be the one there's very little of that in it there, there are smatterings here and there of, of supernatural uh, kind of uh, involvement but half the time you think is this a kind of, is this a dream or is this kind of something that's really happening the way it's shot you can't actually tell a lot of the time So let's talk about the positives and negatives. As you can probably tell, I found this film a little bit confusing. I felt it was not particularly well well kind of defined in what was actually happening. Um, The reasons and stuff why these things were happening to me weren't clearly defined. Half the time you're seeing these kind of sequences and you're thinking, is this a dream sequence? Is this a dream within a dream? Is this kind of something that she's kind of seeing that's telling? We We just don't know. Uh, so I feel it wasn't very well defined in regards to stuff like that. And because of the lack of actual spiritual stuff that you'll see on screen, it becomes a little bit boring. I mean, bear in mind, literally 99% of this film takes place in this one apartment. Uh, so it comes a little bit boring. And it really had some logic issues that kind of bugged me as well. Now, without giving you any spoilers... Suffice to say, you know these guys are trapped here, but no one thinks to throw stuff out the building, basically, to try and attack, attract attention. No one thinks about trying to light a fire. No one thinks about pulling a fire alarm. Um, stuff like that. And then at one point, they're kind of like, they, there's no water. But no one thinks about pulling the pipes out, stuff like this. So, but ultimately, they go to more extreme me- measures sort of as the movie progresses. But some of the basic stuff isn't covered, if you ask me. And it's not as if these are people who are, you know, panicking last minute. They've been here for a long time, so they've had a chance to think about stuff. So that kind of bothered me. On the plus side, it's quite a good character study. It's, a, it's, a, it's more of a psychological horror, so that's your kind of thing. Think you're, you're going to like this one. And I did like the kind of the gradual descent in the kind of madness that is portrayed by the actors here. Also, was a good job was the makeup effects, which we see these these guys kind of trapped in this kind of apartment for a period of time. As the movie progresses, they look gradually, gradually worse off. And I think the makeup did, did, did a good job of really making them look like they've been through hell, essentially. Ultimately, though, I found this somewhat of an unsatisfying movie without really kind of giving you any real explanation about what's actually happening or why. Uh, so it fell a little bit flat for me. Had some good elements in it. There was some, you know, it was more of a psychological horror film rather than an out and out haunting film for me. But four out of ten, I'm going to give it. Wasn't all that unsatisfied with it. So have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I shall look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now. Mm-hmm.